so we don't have numbers or uh, don't even know the, uh, I do know the owner of most of these.
one thing you'll see the judge do here that you will not see with the law is, is, uh, is look at the teeth. That's not one of the one of the criteria for uh, for llamas, but it is for alpacas to make sure those teeth are meeting that uh, upper pad. Uh, you may know that uh, llamas and alpacas do not have upper teeth; they just have a hard palate that they use to uh, grab the grass and grain and to pull it in their mouth. So they don't uh, they don't actually bite with the front, but they can chew. They do have a full set in the back. And it's especially important that they uh, those front teeth meet that hard palate properly. You'll notice too that they, in some in some respects, look like a miniature llama, but they are uh, slightly different. There's some different uh, the angulation in the, in the back and the uh, and the leg set is a little bit different. And perhaps we can get the judge to explain that those differences a little bit from what you're going to be seeing the rest of the day. And I believe normally in the when we have a fleece fleece on classes for these guys that uh, she would be checking the fleece because that is one of the judging criteria when we have a, have a fleece class. But these, like I said, these are all shorn, so obviously there's no uh, fleece here to check. Come on, Da Vinci. First, Swade got second, Stevie got third, Guy got fourth, this Adventure is got the fifth. first ever, to the best of my knowledge, alpaca class at the Muskingum County Fair, and what a great class it is. Um, and it's, a, it's exciting to have it as a part of the fair. So I want to commend all of you for bringing your animals. Um, it is a very tough class to judge because we have a variety of colors and a variety of ages and a variety of everything here. So 
when you evaluate according um, it, when you evaluate an alpaca, a, a short alpaca, you're not you're looking primarily at their conformation, but you're also evaluating as you can the density of their fleece and their regrowth and all of those things that are important because alpacas are um, have a multitude of purposes, but one of the, their big purposes is to provide the wonderful luxurious fiber that they have. So we want to take a look at that as well. Um, having a variety of colors makes it different um, or difficult to evaluate. So um, in a way, I'm not really comparing apples to apples, but I'm looking at the class we have today and I, I want to commend you for that. Uh, at the top of our class, we have our two youngest animals and um, youth is to, really helping them out a little bit today. Um, and when I had them walk together, they walked much better than they did when they had to be on their own four feet and walk alone to me. So that really helped me evaluate them. Um, our first place animal is standing in first place because of his strength off of his hind legs. Um, I, I commend the second place animal for his fleece. Both of them have nice fleece, nice regrowth. Um, I really like the bundling that I'm seeing in the second place animal. Um, so the, the bundling in the second place animal is what's putting him over our third place animal, which is a two-year-old. Um, he just does not have the fleece that the animal standing in front of him has today. Um, so um, I, I really, I really like how he walks. I like, I, I really commend him for his bone, um, for the straightness of those legs, and how he's walking off front and rear legs, which is what's putting him over our, our beautiful gray, which happens to be my favorite color of alpaca. Um, and then we have 30 alpacas, and I'm a fleece judge and an alpaca judge as well as mama. So, um, so grays always take my heart. Um, but um, our third place animal, our, our animal standing in fourth place because he doesn't quite have the strength in his hind legs as the animal in third place does. Our um, fifth place animal is the problem animal because he really didn't give me a chance to evaluate him at his best, I know. So on another day when he was more excited to be at the fair and less nervous, I think he could easily move up in our class. Um, he's very striking. He is still a true black, um, even though he has white on him, and that's kind of interesting with alpacas. We, we look at their blanket to, put to, to, to decide what color class they would be in. So even though he has some of that white on his legs and white on his face and neck, which I love, um, he's, he still would be considered a true black. He's just a little bit nervous today. And in that nervousness, he wanted to take his legs like spaghetti noodles and keep running over top of one and the other. Um, he is still standing over top of our sixth place alpaca, not to take anything away from the, the granddaddy of the alpacas out here, our six-year-old alpaca. Um, he's, he's standing in front of him primarily because I, this alpaca um, doesn't, still doesn't quite have the strength in, the, in his legs that I was, I was seeing in, in the other ones as they're walking with, with their gait and his movement. And part of that might be it's the third time he's been out here today and he might be a little bit tired of having me evaluate him. So um, I want to commend everybody. Thank you very much for bringing alpacas. It's an honor to be the judge at the first um, for the first alpaca class here. And I want to encourage you to keep on showing. Thank you. I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, he really doesn't like fair. Okay, folks, we do have some names of uh, alpacas and their handlers here. So, uh, in sixth place today, we have Allison T. Bow showing Salvation. And we've seen him before. That's only by those bowling wonders in Zanesville, Ohio. Anyways. Our fifth place today is uh, Da Vinci, shown by Melissa Snyder. Melissa, you own all of these? These are all yours, okay? So, Melissa's uh, the owner of all of these. And this is Da Vinci standing in fifth place. Our fourth place is Handler's Abby Brock, showing God. Come on out, guys. That was our fourth place. Our third place alpaca is, is called Stevie, and that's the cold shop level, something like that. See, she's so happy to get thirsty with the Melissa. Our second place today is Swain, that's Tiffany Beckett showing. And our first place, winner of our class, 
Miss Tuna Crown, that's Jill Beckett. Congratulations, everybody.